What's up? In today's video, we'll be making a video player that can switch between different qualities like 1080p, 720p, all the way down to 144 like YouTube does. We'll also be making an API where you can upload your 1080p video and then we'll be converting it down to all those different qualities that I mentioned earlier. Uh, all this will be done using Next.js and TypeScript and all the code will be available on my GitHub. If this is helpful to you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get started with the video. Okay, so uh, here is the project opened up in Emacs. So uh, the first thing you're going to do is install FFmpeg. And once you've installed it, um, you need to find out where it is. Uh, mine is in user bin FFmpeg. And so I've put that here uh, inside lib slash FFmpeg dot Yes. Um, and then once you've done that, you're going to want to initialize uh, the database. So you can just do that with npm run. Uh, and it, actually, the next thing you'll want to do is you're going to want to create uh, a. Actually, let me first go into this uh, folder. And then you're going to want to create the public directory uh, because this is where, that's where all the videos are going to go. And then you're going to want to initialize the database, npm run init db. Uh, so what that did was it created, uh, it should pop up this video metadata.db file here uh, that's used in SQLite. Uh, and then to start the app, you're going to do npm run dev. And then now it's running on localhost 3000. So let's swap on over to Chrome. Okay, so this is the, the app in Chrome. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So since there's no video uploaded yet, there's gonna be this uh, uploaded a video link. So you click on that, and then we can choose a file to convert. So you click do it. Okay, so it's uploaded the video to the server, and now it's converting uh, it into different versions like 720p, 360p, 144. And the video might actually be stuttering right now because it's taking a lot of CPU away from uh, my recording, uh, but that's all right. So once it's done, it should redirect us to the home page and show the video. Sweet. So you can see you can play and pause, and then here we're going to swap between uh, different versions, 720p. Let's pick 144. Uh, and as you can see, it's, yeah, 144p quality. Um, let's go back to 1080p. Let's dive into the code. Um, first, I'm going to show you how uh, the actual converting works, and then I'll show you um, how uh, I created this player where you can swap between the different qualities. Okay, so we're back in the code. Let me just put this away. Uh, yeah, so the way we upload uh it starts with the uh upload page so that's in pages upload uh all it does is yeah so we just um create this uh form here it just takes a uh it just takes an input file and then we uh use this fetch to upload it with this form data, pretty standard stuff. Um, and then let's see the API. So within pages, if you go to API and then upload, um, there's a little bit more going on here. So the, the main thing to pay attention to though is I'm using formidable uh, incoming form. The cool thing about Formidable is it lets me uh, just kind of parse uh, the request and then have immediate access to the file. Um, here's just some type checking, but I get the file here. Um, and then what we do is we uh, rename it and put it into this public folder. So actually, if we'll check the public folder, you'll see Skate and all the different versions. And then here uh, for each resolution, um, and then this resolution is actually just um, 
a list I made. So these are the different qualities. Uh, so for each resolution, we make some paths and then this convert video method uh, uses FFmpeg here. We ex exec this file, which is your FFmpeg path. And then uh, once it's done, let's go back. We insert uh, all the different uh, paths uh, of videos into the memory database. Actually, this is no longer an in-memory database. Um, I tried at first using just a like uh, just a map, but then because of the way TypeScript works um, or the way um, Next.js works, uh, it kept getting erased. So I had to create the uh, SQLite um, version of this. So if we actually look inside, um, here's uh, all the code for using SQLite to um, format the video, get all of it for um, the home page and insert into the database. Yeah, and then we just return uh, 200 and done when we're finished. Okay, so now let's go over how this video player works. Um, it's actually much simpler than I thought it was gonna be. Um, if we go to our components and then video player, uh, is it works in a few steps. So here uh, inside the HTML, we've got a video element and then we've got the source. And so this source is gonna determine uh, what quality or what file we're gonna use um, when uh, serving the video. So first it'll start out with the uh, 1080p version um, and then this select here, which is the select that you see right here, um, is uses this on select handler. Uh, in this handler, what's happening here is the we get the timestamp of the video. So remember where we are in the video, and then we get the source of uh, the new video so like the new quality version that the user wants um and then uh check in some state so we pause it swap out the source um and then just tell the video to reload and then set it to uh the time where it was so like in an instant we can just kind of create a brand new video and then get you started where you were before so that's why it actually re like has this little flash and reloads because it's creating uh, a brand new kind of video player there. Uh, yeah, so that's why we can swap really fast. Uh, yeah, uh, so this code, as you can see, this code is pretty messy. Um, I, I'm not really used to using TypeScript and I kept getting all these like warnings. Uh, so leave a comment below uh, if you've got any tips on uh, how to write this better. Um, I just kind of did it like in a weekend, uh, and thought it'd be, it'd be fun. Uh, so I hope you learn something from this and yeah, see you later. Peace.